today, I want to show you what a realistic day in my life looks like as a two times Grammy nominated producer. A lot of the time, it can be easy to just see people's highlights on their Instagram and think that their life is something that it really isn't. So I want to actually go in and show you everything that I'm doing on a daily basis to balance being a content creator, running a sound kit website, getting placements and selling beats and loops online, as well as trying to maintain some kind of personal life. And it's definitely not easy, but it's possible for me because I have a specific system that I follow and I'm very intentional with how I structure my time in my days. So without any more talking about it, let's just get right into it. All of my days actually start the night before. And this is because I plan out in detail what I'm going to do every single day the night before. I go in and I look at my calendar on what I have to do this week, what are my weekly goals, and then I build out my daily plan following those goals that I said that I wanted to achieve. I write out what activities I'm doing first, what activities I'm doing in the afternoon, what personal events or activities I've got going on, and overall just setting myself up super well for the next day. I used to kind of attack everything every single day, content here and there, loops here and there, business here and there. But recently, what I found very helpful is I started batching my days. And what I mean by this is instead of taking my focus and putting it everywhere at once, I focus in directly on one thing that day. So one day of the week, I might do nothing but make loops. And I might be able to make like 10 or 15 finished loops in that day because I'm laser focused on making music. The other days, I might be able to make a bunch of YouTube videos because all I'm doing is working on YouTube. Certain days I'm just working on the business side of things. You get the point. There are some days where I have to do some miscellaneous tasks and kind of mix and match, but I try my hardest to stay true to just doing one thing as the main focus of the day. So after I have my day planned, I usually am going to bed at around 9 30 PM. And then tomorrow morning, I'm actually going to wake up earlier than I normally do because I've got a date with my fiance at night. So I won't have time to go to the gym at night like I normally do. So I wake up at 4 45 AM to go to the gym first thing in the morning. And I definitely don't do this every day, maybe a couple times a week, but whenever I have personal events going on in the nighttime and I still want to make it to the gym, I just get up an hour earlier so that I can carve out some time to make sure that I'm still taking care of my fitness. So today I hit chest day in the gym and after getting in a nice workout, I go back to my house and I start looking at what I have to do for the day. To do this, I go onto my portable brain inside of the producer playbook and I can see the automatically updated to-do list that lists out everything that I have to do that day. I've been planning my days the night before for years now. And with the help of my team, I was finally able to put it all into one place with a calendar, habit trackers, to-do lists, separate calendars for different aspects of the business, and so much more. It's what I use to guide my whole entire day. So if you're interested in that, check out the producer playbook. It'll be the first link in the description down below. So the first thing that I've got going is sending out loops and doing some busy work. And this typically takes me anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour a day just to get some random tasks done. And once I'm done with that, I go and eat breakfast that my fiance made me. And as soon as I'm done with my busy work and my breakfast, I go right into my most important tasks of the day, which today is making melodies. I've found it super effective to focus on the most important thing that you want to get done right in the morning because you have the most amount of energy. So I sat down and got to cooking up some loops. First loop done, about to work on second loop. finished up loop number two and I've got a new rule for myself whenever my loops are exporting I just drop down and do push-ups as part of the 30-day challenge I'm doing right now inside of my discord so I challenge you whenever your beats or loops are exporting just drop down and do some push-ups it'd be pretty easy to get to like 100 a day if you're cooking up all day All right, so I just got some flute recordings back from this flute player that I work with. So I'm gonna grab my guitar, record some stuff and finish our third loop of the morning. Thank you. 
After I finish cooking up, I typically go and eat lunch and take a little bit of a break because my brain is fried. And after anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour, I come back to my computer and work on the second half of the tasks that I have today. During this time, I'm typically taking meetings with people, working on content, writing out content ideas, and doing back-end business work that takes a little bit less mental energy. I'm always putting the work that is less important and less urgent to get done right now in this part of the day because I find that typically around the afternoon time, my brain can get a little bit fried and I'm much more likely to fall off and not get those tasks done than the early morning tasks. So today in the afternoon, I'm working on some social media for the producer playbook launch, which is that planning tool that I've been talking about in this whole video. And I'm also filming the narration for this video that you're watching right now. Once I filmed all of my content for the producer playbook and my YouTube channel, I organized all those files and send them over to my editor. And then today I've got some extra time so I might make some extra loops or work on some back end business stuff. And after I wrap up my afternoon work, I'm done for the day and I'm going out on a date and living my personal life. However, as soon as I get home and I'm ready to go to bed, the first thing I'm doing is going right into the producer playbook, looking at my weekly goals in my calendar and planning out the next day. And the cycle just continues. If you want some more in depth, exclusive tutorials on how I plan out my weeks and my days, the producer playbook also comes with four in depth tutorials on that that you can't get anywhere else. So if you like the system I use to keep my life organized, make sure to check out the producer playbook in the description down below. That being said, if you want to learn how to make your first $1,000 as a music producer, click this video right here.